I'm Rab Patterson and I teach Japanese students at an international baccalaureate school in Tokyo and most of the students are Japanese returnees so they have cultural experience of spending time overseas. Um, this year one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to explore how technology has been changing over time and if we look at it nobody disagrees with the changes that have been taking place in, in technology. Well, we've seen computers, for example, really old computers have now changed to be smaller, faster, more powerful computers. We've seen phones change from unifunctional old style devices to multifunctional multimedia devices. Similarly with tablets, we've seen old unifunctional tablets become multifunctional multimedia tablets. So all of these changes basically have been taking place and you know everyone agrees that this has been happening. But there's one area really where change hasn't taken place that much and that's in classroom design. We look at classrooms of a long time ago and classrooms today, there's not much change really. And you know, that's not really preparing students for their future. And this is the digital age of creation. We do have app generation students, as they're called. And you know, they're supposed to be full of creativity and passion. So I decided to put this into practice and test my students to see just how creative they were. So I looked at the World Economic Forum's list of the 10 skills that they said students needed to succeed in and I tried to come up with a project that would look at that. So I called it the Creative Classroom Project and I gave my students projects to design their own multimedia classrooms. What kind of spaces would they like to learn in in their school? So they had to make websites, they had to make videos, they had to make a slideshow, they had to deliver the slide presentation live, they had to host all their materials, their research materials online on their website and incorporate some of this into a video. So we can see here examples of some of the title slides of my students' presentations, very professionally done. You just saw a clip of one of their videos there. And you know, there, there's a number of different things that have been going on. So this one here, for example, the students looked at the accounting, how much things were going to cost, what the cost benefit analysis was. They looked at color and learning. They looked at the air quality. You know, plants can be used to clean the air. And basically they did a full in-depth study, project-based learning, challenge-based learning, on what they wanted to see in their own educational environments. And the best of these videos, I hosted them on my YouTube channel and they delivered the presentations live. Other teams gave comments and feedback, so there was peer review and collaboration going on there. And you know, essentially they, they came up with very good, very creative ideas for their projects. And I was very, very happy with the quality of work that these students produced. And the majority of these students were 14, 15 years old. But they produced really good slideshows, really good websites. I'll show you some more examples of that in a moment. Really good videos. You know, they performed almost at the level of some of my university students. And you know, if we give students a challenging task, challenge-based learning, we give them project-based classes where they have to work together in collaboration, we're really preparing them for 21st century learning skills. And you know, they will surprise you. They will come up with really, really good stuff. So as educators, it's up to us to bring in modern pedagogy, modern delivery methods, and modern tasks that will replicate the tasks that they will encounter in the workplace and in, in postgraduate or undergraduate study. And that's what I tried to do with my students there on this school program. These are middle year program students on the International Baccalaureate. So that's what I hope to do. And hopefully you're getting an idea of some of these things from just watching this video that's playing here. Um, yeah, so essentially that, that's what I wanted to do in my course. Um, I'm in the process of writing up the paper on this and, you know, hopefully it will be available when I finish this. And along the way, the students learned a number of things, like they learned how to use Creative Commons materials, so there's no copyright music, no copyright images or videos in any of their work. And their work themselves, they learned about Creative Commons licensing, and they've licensed their videos, their websites, their slideshows, their materials under CC licenses as well. And that in itself is another skill that students need to learn for 21st century work. So, and that's the end of my short presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.